Hey guys, and warm welcome back to the channel. My name is Grace, if you're new here, and this is the Rusty Thicket, where we talk about all sorts of Goblin Core stuff. That's DIYs, artwork, house decor, just anything that we can basically get our hands on. In today's video, I've got a couple of things to share with you. First of all, it is Pete's first water changing. If you are new to the channel, this is our mascot, Pete. He is a Marimo or Marimo, I'm still not sure, moss ball, and he's super cute. And I think I've had him right around two weeks now and it's time to change out his water. So we're gonna do that. And then I also have a thrift haul to share with you guys. I am so excited for at least the one bag especially. Um, but I have an idea that I got when I was looking for this stuff and I would like to know what you guys think. So let's get into it. So excuse the lighting, but this is the best that I have. Pete needs some fresh water. It is good every two weeks or so to change out the water. And from what little research I had to do, because taking care of these guys is not very difficult, um, they just want you to grab them out of the water and put them in an empty container. And I've just realized I need one more. Hang on. All right, and then it says that I should replace half of the water. So we're gonna go ahead and dump all of that out. I'm gonna kind of give this a little bit of a rinse. And it said that if it's by itself and doesn't have another little critter or whatever in it, to kind of squeeze them out a little, which seems wrong. Well, that's what it said. And then to kind of roll him, to shape him up again. And my hands are nice and clean, so hopefully he survives all this. And I'm gonna put him back in. And we're gonna do half of the old water. and then half of the new water. And there he is. Okay, so don't pay attention to how much of a mess I just made doing that. Apparently it's very difficult to pour something into something while you're looking at a camera. And uh, that's the first time I've ever had to do that. So just ignore me. Anyway, so uh, last weekend we went to the thrift store on base at the Marine base next to Kadena, which is called Camp Foster. Um, their thrift store is legit. It's where I found a lot of the stuff I'm going to be doing for Vlogmas actually, uh, cause they were doing like a Christmas in July sale. I wanna show you all which is some Goblin Core goodies, some trinkets. Um, but I found this little frame. It's got duct tape in here, but it's just like the backing card, uh, 25 cents. I got this set of little frames for 25 cents. You see these a lot around here because you can get them for like a dollar at the Daiso and the Saria, which is like the little dollar store in the hobby shop here. And you know me, I'm always looking for little frames because uh, that's what I do all of my art in. And then I found this guy. Look how absolutely wee he is. I'm not gonna keep it blue, I don't think. We'll repaint this, but I just love how tiny it is. And I think, I mean, it says vitamin water. I'm not sure why they would need a tiny frame that actually says it. I think it's from a Gashapon. It's small enough that it could be for some of them. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for teeny tiny stuff like this. If you guys have any idea what I should paint in it, please let me know, cause it could be so cute. 
All right, and then I also found a bag for 50 cents of these little jars. And I thought when I looked at them at first that they were bottles, but they're not. This is just like a kind of a rubbery top. Um, I don't know what to put in them yet, but if any of you out there also have crow brains like myself, jars, baskets, boxes, tins, anything that you can put little stuff in, addicting. So we'll find it a purpose. I don't buy things just to buy things a lot, but sometimes I don't know what they're going to be yet. So we'll see. Maybe something, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hit me with the comments below if you think of anything off the top of your head. So let's see, that's 25 cents, 25 cents, 50 cents. So, so far I've spent $1.50. And before I show you this next part, I want to explain my thought process. So, okay, so I've shared with you guys how I'm making those little trinket boxes. Um, they're gonna have, you know, they're like for your purse to put little bits and bobs in as you find them. Well, I decided that instead of just selling the little glass jars or even just the little trinket boxes, what if I had, and I know you've seen them on probably TikTok and Instagram lives and stuff where they like dig through those bins and then they mail it to you. But what if you got to dig through the bin yourself at my booth and put it in a little drawstring bag and then bought that, you know, like when you would go on those field trips and find those gemstones that you could like fill the little leather bag with and it was like, I don't know, $5 or something. And I just thought that would work so well for Goblin Core stuff and the kids would love it and I even think adults would love it. So I still need a scoop, but I have started like the very basics of a bin and I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see so I'll pan down here in a minute but um, when I get a nicer container it'll look really cool but here I'll show you guys so right now it's just you know some stuff stuff from around my house little bits and pieces of projects um, beads these little things which are awesome they're like little fidget things, um, old washers that I have found in the parking lots, pennies the same way, um, you know, the, the lid off of, I think this is like a ginger ale, some little Coke tabs that I have found. Now everything is clean. I've made sure to, you know, wipe it all down and saw it and stuff like that. So nothing is like nasty, but it is all mostly found pieces and stuff. Like I literally found this on the beach. But I kept thinking, what if I could, you know, thrift some pieces that I could either like take apart or, you know, would I get lucky enough to find some stuff that is small that would be considered like those little I spy pieces or anything like that. So I was thinking of stuff you could get in multiples, but would all be different and unique. So we were in the thrift, thrift shop and I thought, you know, a lot of those little I spy things are like kids toys and like office supplies. So I checked both of those areas and I came across the most perfect bag. So make sure if you guys are looking to collect little stuff like this, make sure you're going through the children's section in thrift shops, as well as like office supplies stuff. And I just want to show you, I'm, we're going to go through it, but look at all these teeny tiny toys, these little like rings, and erasers and little, it was like a whole bag for 50 cents, 50 cents. Okay, so we're gonna go through them all. So like a little bunny, he's kind of creepy, but I like him. This little horse that I'm pretty convinced must glow in the dark, right? Just like some little Barbie doll type stuff. And like a little koala, that's so cute. Some kind of weird onion sprig thing. Like a, that definitely glows in the dark. It's like a Frankenstein something, a little pumpkin. There's actually a bunch of these little pumpkins in here. 
different colors. This little like evil teddy thing, a donut, and this little puppy. There's a few little birds in here. I love this guy. Some like gemstone stuff, some sparkly things. And like when I was looking through them, I thought maybe it was a little too, you know, elementary, but the longer I was going through it, like look how sweet this little polar bear is. And it's so tiny. And there's a bunch of these little, they're actually erasers, I found out, but they're little gingerbread men. This little dog. And like some of these are well-known characters and then some of them, like I think this is from Barbie or something, you know, it's not like a, a specific character, but some kind of ice cream cone lid. Um, another dog, like a big dog, and this little triceratops. Some kind of little headband for a doll, maybe. It's like a unicorn. It's probably from Sailor Moon or something. This awesome dolphin. Like, some of it was so good, I kind of wanted to keep it myself. This cute little pony. And you know, I'm not gonna let them just dig through and dig through. They're gonna take a scoop and get it, but you can kind of be like, ooh, I see some rainbow stuff. I want to, I wanna try and get those things. This is actually one of my favorite cartoons here. I don't know how to say it, otherwise I would. But I was just so excited to find such little goodies to add to this. And like I was saying before, I think it's a little elementary, but at the same time, you know, when you see those little trays and bins of collector's items, you know, they range so much. So I feel like if I fill this bin with stuff and get kind of a, you know, a really eclectic look going on it, like look at this little bird. You know, somebody's going to have a really good time scooping through that. I don't know what he is, but he's kind of cute. And this little bunny. Super cute. Like a little eaten cookie thing. Like really though, he's so, he's so adorable. This kind of creepy Peppa Pig, but somebody's going to like him. You know, one, one man's trash is another's treasure. And if we know anything in Goblin Corps, Crow Brain, Crow Brain can kind of take over and things that you might not consider treasure at some point all automatically, all of a sudden becomes treasure. This is definitely Barbie. Some kind of little purse, ambulance, another bunny, and another little doggo. That's right, I'm a millennial. This beautiful marble. Um, another little puppy. I think, isn't that Hello Kitty? But it's like the bunny. This little dinosaur guy. I recognize him, I think he's from a Pixar movie maybe. Pets or something. Another little ambulance. Some kind of little octopus thing. This little dolphin. So cute. Somebody's absolutely gonna die. I know there are like some die hard, crazy SpongeBob fans out there, and I thought that was hilarious. A little monster. Somebody must have clipped all of like the ring parts off on these. Maybe they were gonna use them in a, or maybe they were like pirate treasure or something. But I think they used to be rings. Cause I found like the little ends. Yeah, like, I think that's one of the ends to it. Some cute little Japanese toys, this little Lucky cat, 
another popper. And honestly, I saw this duck first. This is the first thing that I saw in the bag when I when I was thinking about it. And I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna keep him for me, if I'm honest. I don't have anything like him. There's like a little comb thing. This super cute cat, which I think is Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. If you guys have not watched that, it's so cute and you definitely need to. Um, so he's in here now. Some kind of little pink mouse thing. And then gingerbread man erasers. I'm gonna get all kinds of stuff. This whole thing is gonna be full before I decide to do it so that you're not just getting, you know, a bunch of junk, a bunch of big junk. But I mean, let's be honest, it's junk, right? And you know how we are about collecting junk sometimes. I just, I can imagine, I can imagine little I spy games with all these things so they make the perfect kind of, you know, trinkets for your goblin core hoard and I think filling a little bag a little gold bag of tiny shiny cute objects would just be an awesome thing to add to my table at any of the craft events and stuff thank you guys for watching I I know this one was really short I have other projects I'm in the middle of and you will see all of those next week if you would leave me some comments, make sure you like and hit that subscribe button. Definitely share with all of your friends. We're growing every day and it's just the most excellent thing for me. So I really appreciate you all and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.